Yeah. What's good? What's to do? Peace, blessings, respect for clicking on this video. Hit them likes for me. Nigga aiming for that motherfucking algorithm, you heard? Keep it 100 with you. Uh, support the platform. So, Gilly, Gilly the Kid, Wallow, Million Dollars Worth the Game. They had an interview with Wallow. Nah, what I'm doing? Nah, not nah, Wallow. Uh, 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 Tax Tone, that's his name. My fault, my fault. Wallow Gilly had an interview with Tax Tone. And he revealed, I don't know how he knows this for certain, for sure. But he revealed that the reason Charlemagne had got popped in that classic video. Yo, can I get a drop? Pop! Remember that? Charlemagne standing outside the studio. Some dudes ran up on him. He was sitting out there, standing out there, eating some chips. It like it was early morning. And he was running. Niggas was laughing their ass off. That video was classic. That thing blew up. That thing went viral, didn't it? To this day, it's still a classic video. You know what I'm saying? At that time, Charlemagne was a dickhead. For real, for real. I don't know how he is these days. But Textone said that it was because of Flex. He said that Flex had put a bag on Charlemagne's head. And that's the reason them dudes ran up on him like that. Now, if you remember, if you could think back at that time, right, a lot of people remember Charlemagne and Flex was going back and forth. Charlemagne called himself exposing Flex for some stuff. Flex was saying some stuff about Charlemagne. But there was also another interview where Charlemagne had this little Kim, right? And... If you search for the video, it's dubbed as Charlemagne get ran up on for dissing Lil' Kim. So there were two narratives. Nobody actually knew for sure, but the people behind the scenes of the situation. Well, Tax Stone calls himself clearing that up. And Flex didn't deny it either. Because while the clip was out... Flex himself had commented under it and said, I'm so glad you brought this subject up. Um, basically saying he's going to clear up some things. I don't know if the full interview is out now. Probably so. But he didn't deny it. And it was a long time ago. They probably on better terms now. Nobody ain't got no legal issues going on, so it's probably safe to talk about it now. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's anybody who ever wondered... It's not a big surprise, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um But let's keep it a hundred though. Yeah, Charlemagne was an asshole in them days, man. You you know what I'm saying? He had niggas hot every day, every morning. This nigga was up to no good. Absolute fuckery. Known for it. That's how he got to be so big today. But that could have went real bad. That could have went real bad. Them dudes he sent to get him. He don't know. Charlemagne. What if he would have had something in the car? He would have got his hands on. Pop. Huge backfire. Right? It could have went a couple different ways. I'm sure he probably said, I just want you to rough him up a little bit. I just want you to pop him upside his bald head. Don't kill him. Don't really hurt the nigga. You know what I'm saying? As fast as he was running, I don't think they would have caught him anyway. I don't think they had caught him, right? The way he took off, I don't think they caught him after that one hit. Anyway, it's dangerous in this entertainment game, man. Niggas got egos and shit. And it's like, when you in that type of business and you making different type of money, your mindset has to be different. But it just go to show you this internet and social media and all of that stuff is all in one category. That stuff will get somebody hurt, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I understand why Flex did what he did. But 
it could have cost him. It really could have came back and cost him. You understand? Now, today, it's okay to laugh about it. They both done moved on, probably making more money now than they ever made. But we would have never really known 100% for sure if he wouldn't have said it. Some people might call that snitching in a sense, huh? Because it never came from Flex's mouth. You know what I'm saying? Some people might say, listen, that was dead and under the water. You ain't even had to bring that up. But his point was... He had to get away from them and, you know, kind of like make sure he stayed out the way because he was like, I was, I'm in the streets. I can't be involved. I can't be around these niggas. They got real beef. He, he was thinking like everybody else thinking that, you know, it wasn't all that serious until Charlemagne actually got ran up on. So that's what made him drop that information. <laughs> But my quick question to anybody listening, now that it's actually out there 100%, you know, as a fact, because like I say, Flex didn't deny it. And I take it he's going to indulge into the story a little more. If you were Charlemagne, after all those years, would you just be on some, so it was you. Nigga, I got to do something to you then. Or would you just be on some, that was years ago, I'm getting money, fuck it. I probably would take the second one myself. But niggas think crazy these days, man. Niggas got egos, just like I said. There are people out there who would seek revenge for some shit that happened about about 10 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Well, leave your comment, you know what I mean? Hit that like for a real one. Support the platform. I'd appreciate that. Peace, blessings, respect. I'm gone.